Hi, I'm Jeff Bradshaw. I'm a Calgary-based entrepreneur. We have a couple of companies, one called V Strategies, another one called Razor Training Systems, and I've been involved in a number of businesses over the years. And what I wanted to share with you today is just some of my thoughts on, on where we are right now um, in Alberta, in the country, um, from a business standpoint. Um, we launched the In It Together campaign in 2015 when we had the downturn in the energy sector. And the whole goal of the campaign was just to share some ideas and thoughts from various business leaders about how we could stick together and how we could focus on the positive and the solution um, in that downturn. We're now faced with the COVID-19 crisis in 2020, um, which is something we've never seen ever before in our lifetimes. And so we're struggling with it. A lot of us are struggling with it. So um, there's one thing that I've always believed in, and it's the Pareto rule, the 80-20 rule for me comes into play when it comes into um, problem solving. What I find is most people spend 80% of the time talking about the problem and focused on the problem and then they spend 20% of the time on the solutions and I think that we need to turn that around and we need to spend 20% of the time talking about the problem and 80% of the time on the solutions. So we know what the problems are. Um, our health is a major concern. We're concerned about our families, our friends, um, uh, so we know that. We know that our businesses are getting annihilated right now. Uh, we've got businesses going under. Um, we've got people concerned about how they're going to pay their mortgages, how they're going to put food on the table, how they're going to keep these businesses um, up and running that they've worked so hard at um, to build. And so that's the 20%. So the 80% is let's shift our focus to what are the solutions? What I know is that life will go on. This will pass. It's going to be difficult but life will pass. So let's take this time to focus in on the solutions and what we can be doing. And I think one of the big things is that we can stick together as a business community in Alberta, in Canada, and learn from each other and encourage each other. Um, for me and our business, we've unfortunately had to face some layoffs. Um, we've gotten rid of some amazing people that um, it was heartbreaking. Um, I cared for these people and uh, I'm hoping that one of these days soon we can hire them back. But we needed to cut our costs. We needed to get things under control so that we could stick around so that we have a chance of coming back and hiring them back once things turn around. So um, we've cut costs. We've shut our office down. Um, and we're, but we're still staying in contact with clients. We're not trying to sell anything. We're just connecting with people. We're reaching out. We're making phone calls. We're sending emails. We've started this In It Together campaign again because it was something that I felt that we could do for the business community and for the greater good. And so from a business standpoint, that's what we're doing. We're looking for partnerships, opportunities. We're planning, strategizing, figuring out how we've cleaned our office out numerous times. Now at least I have because I'm the only one that's here. Um, and so that's what we're doing. From a personal standpoint for me, um, I'm spending incredibly valuable time with my family. I'm connecting with my kids. We're playing games. We're watching TV shows. We're having great conversations. Um, and I'm connecting with my parents and with a lot of my old school pals. And we're doing this all on Zoom. And we're having every Friday night, we all get together and we have Zoom. We had an online poker game um, this past weekend. And so um, we're doing a lot of the things that other people are doing. Um, for me, I'm working out every single day. I'm running, I'm lifting weights, I'm meditating, I'm listening to music, I'm watching documentaries, I'm taking courses, I'm listening to books. Um, I'm taking the time to educate myself and get myself uh, prepared and making sure that I'm taking care of myself so that I can continue to provide some leadership um, for my company, um, for my family, and to get things back on track. The reason we started this campaign is so that we could look after each other so that when I'm having a good day, I could look around and help other business owners. So that when I'm having a crappy day, hopefully they'll be there for me and they'll be there to lift me up and give me a bit of a kick in the pants to say, come on, let's keep going and let's get through this thing. Um, and, and so to me, my message to you is that we need to stick together. Alberta needs an entrepreneurial drive like never before. We need business leadership from all levels, government, big companies, small companies, um, we need to look out for our neighbors. We need to make sure that we're that local corner store, that barbershop, that restaurant, that retail location stays afloat and that we can encourage them and help them in any way we can so that when we come on the other side of this, we're stronger together 
and we can put Alberta back on the world map and make sure that we're prosperous and that we're taking care of everybody so that nobody has to worry about income and where they're going to get money for rent and for their mortgage payments and how to put food on the table. So I encourage you to get involved. If you're a business leader, an entrepreneur, share some thoughts, ideas as to what you're doing and how you're getting through this and what your business looks like in the next 30 to 60 days and what it looks like in the next six to 12 months. Um, we need to share ideas um, and, and collaborate. I've been, I was in EO for 17 years, entrepreneurs organization, and it's a very powerful medium when you have a forum group that you can rely on. And so I see the In It Together being a much broader forum group for all of Alberta business leaders so that we can, we can stick together on this because we truly are all in it together. Take care, stay safe, stay healthy. Let's look out for one another and we will get through this. Um, it's going to be painful, but we will get through it. Thank you.